welcome back to exotic astrology so today we will discuss swati nakshatra with anuradha ji and jupiter is also in swati i guess so if you have any planet in swati or even if you don't then please watch this video all right so welcome back to exotic astrology so please enlighten us about swati today thank you baba ji for calling me and as jupiter is moving in retrograde motion over this nakshatra so we are also going to take up a few charts of the retrograde motion of jupiter in sati nakshatra also the deity of this nakshatra is vayu apart from by vayu this nakshatra also has another deity called saraswati saraswati as most of us know is the goddess of learning but what i recently came to know during reading of the bhagavat is she is assigned as the goddess of good speech and the god of learning is lord shiva that is why he is called adi guru the first guru so people who have a lagna or who have their planets in adra nakshatra because that is ruled anatha rahu ruled nakshatra by god shiva in his rudra roop a very intelligent make fantastic gurus okay so now let's move but that's adra and it's a different uh, you know when game all together and we'll go into vayu's territory now the zodiac part of the zodiac this nakshatra rules over is 6 degrees 40 minutes in libra to 20 degrees in libra so it's totally in an air sign so if you relate to it vayu is the lord of air so there's a lot of mind activities which is associated with this nakshatra now single star alpha botis that's the star that is associated with this nakshatra okay and the star is said to be the fourth brightest in the sky and this star in particular is said to be the abode of devi saraswati the goddess of speech as i said earlier so this star if in your chart is afflicted okay then you may not you will may have a problem with speech or you may have uh, learned to speak in life you may have had issues with polite speaking or the house that it is sitting in say supposing it's sitting in your fifth house your son could have had a or a daughter could have had a problem with speaking or uh, would be little harsh in their speech and you would have to teach it to them properly okay and then we also have um, you know need not mean that you have to have a planet there if it's degreeally aspected by a planet say saturn aspects it with uh, from 15 degrees of uh, capricorn let's say capric no uh, okay capricorn or saturn aspects it from aries then it's a fallen saturn aspecting the sign so it's kind of you say that the person is very blunt in his or her speech mm -hmm. okay okay so you need not have as i keep telling all the time you need not have a uh, definitely it's more of an interest for me or for you or for anybody to know more about a star or a nakshatra where we have planets positioned but where even if we do not have a planet positioned somewhere but it is afflicted or if it is you know aspected by a benefit that star does make a difference in our life so moving ahead what is the shakti of this planet is pradvamsha shakti so have you seen a farmer you know farmer when they uh, scatter the seeds hmm so what happens in that case when the farmer scatters the seeds is the wind that takes it in all the directions so it's the scattering part of the wind for pollination also when a flower let goes of its pollen it is taken away by the wind in most cases it there is movement in all different directions this wind cannot be you know confined to just one direction 
like the agni can be moved into just one direction this wind spreads in all direction it, it is constantly changing forms so and there is this desire in this nakshatra that they want to move around in all the worlds now it is ruled by rahu it is definitely something that you cannot confine and what happens is when you are moving constantly there is a lot of constant changes and there is transformation freedom to move as i wish now this is one of my uh, very favorite uh, the patrikas not probably star or otherwise is a matter of difference but uh, patrikas definitely or or the chart is definitely one of my favorites because he is one of those people who has all the three rahu rule nakshatras covered and i was just working on that okay and he has been known to have moved into areas where other stars have not wanted to venture he was one of those first stars after having reached a very strong position in life to have made a movie like swadesh you know which was which was a very uh, strong which was a movie with a very strong social message to the youth of our generation who is of the next generation coming generation who is just moving abroad so there is such a lot of brain drain so he just wanted to write that give back to your country then there is this movie that he has made on the indian uh, women hockey team so he was one of the first few people to break the mold of in the world of cinema to move the transition as a very successful and a prominent uh, movie maker uh, you know actor from the genre of commercial movies to uh, movies with a message and you see he has his atma karika sun not atma karika but atma the lord of gains which is sun the 11th lord and sun is also said to be the karika of uh, the you know the soul and what is the desire of the soul so it becomes very prominent for him to move and break out into a different mold his parents were very middle class very had a has had a very uh, middle class are bringing very strong moral grounds and things like that but he's come a very long way all on his own steam he lost his father quite early in life you see the son is debilitated here so he lost his father and he says my father was the most successful unsuccessful uh, you know story so his father went through a lot of turmoil in his own life but he as a son has come out a long way which we can also take it to be that you know vayu's sons have a name which is much more prominent than vayu himself and we'll take it up when we talk about the sons of vayu okay so lagna represents the self and sun is the 11th lord of earnings family and spouse it gave him a very individualistic attitude and he also has the tenacity to carry on to the last you know he will always um, he has a lot of qualities of this nakshatra we will see that comes up later steven spielberg again a hollywood act, a producer a movie maker writer a lot of things in his genre and he has been a very compassionate man as i've read about him so he wanted to break through the mold of a typical jew that he found in his family to be in and he broke in the mold and it was he didn't want to be associated with that movement because of a lot of uh, flake that he had to face as a child you know and he moved ahead and he kind of uh, it was only at the birth of his son and on the insistence of his second wife that he tried to again move back into his religion he was often said to be an out, outcast you know but a lot of anti feminist jokes against him at one time and he had to bear all that so he was not very happy with it but he did make it and he went back to the fold and his movies took science fiction in hollywood to a different genre different level altogether for all those who have been as fans of jurassic park 
Jaws, E.T., and then you have Raiders of the Lost Ark. They were they belong to a different make altogether. And he has given the freedom, the artistic freedom that he's put into his movies is just phenomenal. See, Moon, which is his second lord of wealth. Okay? Moon, which is his uh, <coughs> second lord of wealth, is placed in this nakshatra of Swati, which is the fifth house of creativity, fifth house of publications. And Moon is also with Jupiter, which is the seventh lord and the tenth lord of, you know, profession. The major issue here, everything that he does has such a lot of artistic touch because the fifth lord, Venus, is in its own house and that to a Mula Trikona house. And Venus is also the twelfth lord, which is the house where the nakshatra lord is placed. Twelfth lord is the in lord of international fame. Okay, so we move on to travel and tourism. You know, Orville and Wilbur Wrights are American brothers and they um, they have taken, again, they have Mars here. Or Orville has Mars, which is his fifth lord, again, of power position. And uh, it's his tenth lord of... So Mars here is, as we know, is the yoga karaka for this lagna of um, cancer. And being the tenth lord, aspecting its own house, being aspected by the lord of this nakshatra, that is Rahu. It gave him the ability to build the world's first successful airplane and making it controlled, powered, and uh, sustained heavier than air human flight. And that was way back in 1903. And okay. I'm looking at his so, chart. He has three benefits in the third house. <laughs> it's like three? wow. Yes. Third house. Yeah. yeah, three benefits. Third house is airplanes and all this. <laughs> ah, it's communication and flights and yes. And he has an exalted Mercury, which also is the twelfth lord of international travels. And uh, moon, which moon is the Venus lord of the ascendant, moon is also a past life desire. And because it's moon, Venus, it Venus gives him an artistic moon. license. Moon, Venus will yeah. also show vehicles. So he has his Mars. Yes, and Mars is again uh, sitting there in the fourth house of vehicles. Mars is again the tenth lord of profession. Oh. And it is a yoga karaka planet. It is exalted. When we go back, when we see the Navamsha Pada, we see that it's exalted in Capricorn. Okay. So uh, Mars is in the fourth house of vehicles and it is aspected by Jupiter and Rahu from by fifth aspect from the house of international travels. Okay. So another deity, one deity that I was talking to you about is Saraswati. Saraswati is associated, we all know, with learning and institutions of learnings. But she is also known to be the lady with a good speech. So you will see that people who have this nakshatra will have very good speech. In fact, okay, coming to the establishment of new educational institutions, we have Gates, Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation, and they give a lot in terms of for education policies for people worldwide. They have, Bill Gates has his son in Libra, again, it's the third lord of hands, third lord of communication, third lord of, uh, you know, third lord of uh, communication, third lord of uh, uh, enterprise and encouragement. Third lord is also related to society. And in the fifth house of power, position, fifth house is also intelligence. Swati Nakshatra is an intelligent nakshatra. So we've seen that. And they have established a lot in terms of intelligence. Sun is also the Atma Karaka. So want, not just wanting to be supreme, because Vayu was supreme in whatever he did, because he's the swiftest. Not just wanting to be supreme in his ways, he also wants to give back to 
society a lot so generosity as i have told you earlier is one key trait of this nakshatra loud voice or a beautiful voice so people who have um, the any planet uh, here we see that you know he was born as paul david hewson uh, and he's a lead singer of the band u2 and as i was reading about him as i was researching about him he's one of those people who's a social activist after being a celebrity with a choco block kind of a routine and schedule he's raised millions of dollars for you know poverty stricken famine areas and medical care in many countries he can talk on any topic and not just with with common man he can talk with people who hold special degrees on these things about activism and you know about with with data these things that he is very passionate about again you will see that for him it's the eighth lord of transformation it's a sagittarius lord now it's the eighth lord of transformation sitting in the 11th house of contacts so he has not just wanted to bring in a change by his voice he is a lead singer so as i said if you have a good voice if you are, if the sign is not afflicted you will have you see it's aspected by mercury and venus which are both showbiz related and sun which is again the ninth uh, lord uh exalted sun okay which is a ninth lord so this nakshatra holds a very strong power in its convictions also and generosity as i again i i can't uh, you know Uh, say enough about it, and so it's just in the eleventh house of contacts. So he's used his contacts to bring about a transformation. As we said, one of the shakti, the desire, everything together. What what happened after? You know, the crux of the matter is there is transformation. What he does is brings transformation into the lives of millions with his work, charity work, and his voice. He not just lends it to. the um you know for music and to earn money but also he has a loud voice to reach to people the world over to make the world a better place now let us see the deity the deity is uh, i have i have said we've seen saraswati the deity is vayu Let's look at some few key features of Vayu. There's a story about Vayu that I would like to take first, and <clears throat> then we'll uh, go ahead. Uh, one of the stories of Vayu is that Vayu, we all know, they they cannot be anything more faster than the wind god, right? Vayu is the wind god, so there cannot be anything which can be more faster than the wind god. he is uh, so there's this race the gods have to decide as to who wins uh, the nectar who gets the place to drink the nectar first the amrit or the som okay so they they cannot come to a decision so they decide the devtas decide that they will have a race and why you he his stead is also you know he is said to have two steads steads means your uh, vehicle so in for our devatas they have a living vehicle so his vehicle is said to be the horse or the antelope both of them have the ability to be the swiftest okay at times it's said to be the horse at times it's said to be the antelope so uh vayu moves with a steady such a steady uh, force you know that it's unimaginable however um indra we all know the ruler of jeshta nakshatra just does not want to be left behind he doesn't indra is a devata who would always want to be right there at the finishing line first and always first so he doesn't want to be left behind and he so he tries and indra will try there's one thing if you have a malefic there in that nakshatra of jeshta you might do anything that is you feel is necessary to win the race so indra what he does is he rushes to the point you know sometimes what happens you've seen cricketers uh, you know they fall 
to move on to the line if there is a ball coming for a for a run out the cricketers tend to fall so that they can extend that and probably their bat will touch the line before the ball reaches so what indra does is something very similar he falls such that he touches the finishing line but by that time ayu has already crossed the finishing line and such is declared the winner now indra doesn't want to be the second he hates being the second so he just tells ayu that um, please can i please give do me this favor uh, please make it a tie and ayu says no i have won it fair and square why should i make it a tie he says uh, okay please but in the jeshtha nakshatra people have very good ability to negotiate or the shakha nakshatra also for that matter so he says um, <clears throat> please let's do that please let's do that and some cajoling some negotiation and finally he says okay fine i will give you one fourth of my drink so um he uh, drinks one fourth of it and the rest is taken up by vayu so vayu has the ability to give from his share again as i said being generous give a part of their own they have a great they sustain people they love so you will see that this nakshatra will will always stand up for people they love and in sharukh khan's chart we saw that sun was the 11th lord okay if you want me to go back i will sun is the 11th lord of elder sibling sitting in this nakshatra he has an elder sibling who went into a huge amount of depression and turmoil when they lost their parents by right, quite early in life okay and she has been ever since being looked upon looked by looked you know cared for by sharukh khan so they have this and they make formidable enemies they take their fights to the finish they have the ability to take the fight have you seen try walking against a gale you know when it's thundering and storming try walking against a gale i mean the gale has the ability to take, they when there is a gale that gale can actually uh, swift away the entire house it uproots trees does whatever not you know the wind and the gale and everything so that's it and this nakshatra is always on the move why you we all know air is never still is always on the move uh, move and they do not stay at any one place they always easily away you know moving restless these nakshatras are very restless nakshatra this is a one very restless nakshatra okay uh, and it is always on the move if you they always fidgeting they have a huge amount of nervous energy the good guides and counselors because they have the ability to hear air is also the third house of the natural zodiac is also represents the your sign and as such this these people make good counselors they have the ability to listen very carefully in steven's uh, spielberg's chart i was telling you about i know the for the fact that um, who was i talking about the other day when i talked about uttara shara um, she has i don't remember the actress's name but i do remember her and she had uh, she became the uh, you know the god daughter she she asked steven spielberg to make him um, to become her uh, godfather and he did and he had always with such you know we think we have busy should you we should just try living in their shoes for a day we should just try living in their shoes for a day and we would realize the kind of life that they live and yet he took care of his uh, goddaughter with a lot of uh, love and affection and he did point her out where he had to things that he had to do about her i want to ask you But, a question here yes This, sure it's written here makes a formidable enemy so is it because of that 
thing with indra no it's because uh, when you have um lot of you first and foremost they will give you a run for their your money they're very competitive extremely competitive as i told you about the race thing okay mm -hmm. and the second thing is have you tried as i asked you have you tried moving in a uh, you know extremely windy day okay it pushes you backward so it's at that moment it's like kind of your enemy have you seen hanuman when we'll do that we'll do that later also for the sons of uh, we already covered we have so much to cover and so little time uh, the sons of hanuma uh, of the uh, of this deity also will have a bearings and uh, they will you know why you putro so it's man hanuman <laughs> Ah, so they're good guides and counselors, okay? And the powers of perception are very, very high. Solitary nature; they're independent. As we said, they were independent. Okay. Uh, they do not like. so people who have uh, swati a moon any planet in swati especially moon ascendant or sun do not like to be governed by anybody and i've seen that in many cases they do not want to be answered to any answer to anybody they do not want to answer to anybody why you came in late why are you why are you this why that it's like put a full stop on yourself i don't want to answer to you full stop god of wind and prana or life breath vayu as we know is life breath it's the prana we cannot live without it so um if time permits i'll take up a story with hanuman because the deity vayu his sons have much more to tell us about though it's all written in his name but they have lot of his characteristics which can be explained through a lot of stories he is the king of celestial music shins name an instrument that does not require the air and we've also seen that uh, you know uh, with Sa goddess saraswati so it she also has the veena which is again a, a instrument of musicians she's also said to be the goddess of music so then these okay. people can play lot of instruments also that is what we can infer from this yes we can infer that from that and we can also see that they have a very good sense of music they would if okay. you are not able to play then you would always be attracted towards music you would always be kind of playing it say in your car or like to listen to music which is soothing and makes life easier for you okay purifier and hence represents the divine breath of the gods okay so so supposing um, there's something smelling in the room and you open the windows and the doors so the smell dissipates right i'm giving examples so it's it's like it's like it takes away what is not required and when you find a stench you hold your breath because you don't want to you you don't want anything in form of your breath going any anything which is just undesirable into your system as i said it is he said to be the swiftest among the devatas okay loud voice is associated with even with uh, you know vayu vayu they have a roaring voice listen to a howl uh, of the winds some day and they you will shake in your actual howls and one would shake in their uh, you know pants free will and they always on the move air we all know that uh, when uh, prahlad no prahlad dhruv was praying because he did not intake vayu vayu was forced because it was and uh, going against the laws of nature and dhruv during his last month of praying to lord vishnu okay Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. So when he was praying to Lord Vishnu, in the last month he stopped inhaling and exhaling also. 
as a result because it was moving against the laws of nature okay in hindi you say uh, prakriti ke virudh okay that's what i have seen heard so when it was against the laws of nature vayu was forced to stand still and when vayu stands still everything in the universe comes to a stand still because it is an essential part of our life systems okay and it is tireless you never hear the winds you know stop even if they are moving at a very slow speed they are moving they are always on the move so these people are always on the move so let's take up a few examples here and then we'll move and if this if this planet is afflicted then you will also see certain um, afflictions to the lungs asthmatic you see mars which is aspecting this planet moon okay from with its eighth aspect it is aspecting it uh, and uh, from and it's it, it's the moon is the eighth lord of diseases sitting in the 11th house aspected by mars from the fourth house of lungs mars is also the fifth lord of children so one of his child also suffers from asthma okay fluctuating relationships and partnerships so people have also said that we have as i read in one of the comments people also said that there are two sides to do let us know what the flip side is so i'm taking up a few flip sides also fluctuating relationships and partnerships so um jk rowling uh most of us know her as the author of harry potter harry potter is a fan fantasy series you know and uh, i i too had stood in line to ask to get uh, the books one of the book you know there was like line right people the pre order was i think it's one of the most sold out book series the books have gained worldwide attention won multiple awards okay and the highest grossing film series in second highest grossing film series in the history if you see the harry potter series the first days tickets were always sold out she started penning her first novel in 1990 the seven year period that followed saw her, the death of her mother birth of her first child divorce from her first husband and relative poverty until she finished her novel in 1997 that's the first novel and when it hit the stands she didn't have to turn back in fact she didn't even know which orbit she jumped into and uh, there was a time in you know, her when she would go to a cafe and she would just sit with her small daughter that one cup of coffee to sustain her through the entire 3 hours 4 hours of writing we see the ascendant here is again the libra lagna and swati nakshatra with rahu is in the 8th house of change and transformation the jupiter the third lord of writing and the sixth lord of divorce also you can say cheatings and partnerships lot of things okay eighth house is also the sustenance of marriage unfortunately for her the marriage did not sustain competitiveness or i should say i do not know whether it was unfortunate or fortunate uh, so be competitive as i told you the very competitive bill gate comes like a, uh, is like first and you talk about competition nobody can beat this man he was said you know he said that even as a child he was very competitive if he took board games and he came in second he would he would spend days to perfect that game till he came first and this habit is not only in his child child childhood carried on to a level when they were developing games for his uh, you know company then if he could not beat his employees he would spend days till he had perfected that game and then come back and play with them defeat them and and then he you know move ahead so he has a son the third lord of competitions also because competitiveness begins in the mind third lord of mind sitting in the fifth house of creativity and intelligence and fifth house is also publication power authority it's sitting with the fifth lord 
and eighth lord eighth lord is exalted here and you know what is eighth lord it's eighth lord is all about transformations he transformed the world he transformed the world when it comes in terms of the infrastructure as relates to the computer you and me are able to talk together only on base because this guy made the world come to a you know just wires internet and a few chips as in your in mind laptops isn't it <laughs> typical why you that air thing <laughs> typical and you also see has his uh, again uh, he has his uh, ascendant also in the air sign so uh, hard working and focused so i amitabh bachan again moon okay and that's in his ninth house he's been working in, he has he was the first person in india to have a statue of his own in madam tussauds in uh, uh, you in uk he was so well known at that time you know and that time uh, it was like he is just a perfectionist it's the ninth house moon is in is the sixth lord of competition in the ninth house of luck prosperity and administration and also obedience okay so he still after working in the industry for nearly four decades more than if, if i am not mistaken he still rehearses his roles and he likes to be perfect he doesn't like wasting time for anybody moon is the sixth how lord of discipline his dedication even today is uh, towards his work is inspiring for most and you would see you know uh, for those who are movie buffs and uh, would like to see movies you should read about his bio where most of the people in the industry are all but praises for him they all praises for him they say that they have not seen a more dedicated and a humble man than him and humility is another trait associated with this nature you will see one of the sons of vayu is lord hanuman ji and hanuman ji has the is said to be a very humble uh, being person devta he is though he has ashtashit siddhis and nav nidhis but he still has a very humble attitude and a loyal attitude towards his work and his worship of lord drama okay so moon the lord of the sixth house of competition is in the ninth house of luck in swati nakshatra is reputed to be one of the most hard working people focused and it already rules out any competition whatsoever okay so we have sustains uh there's so much to you know but i'll take up these three royalties who are so much in news newly married prince harry uh british royalty the second son of prince charles and princess diana he is known <coughs> as prince harry and he has a saturn an exalted saturn sitting here in the 11th house of contacts known as one of the 100 most influential people in this uh, you know by the forbes magazine he's also said to work generously towards giving people donating okay he's worked for mental health he's worked for um, you know so many of his mother's charities that he works for lady diana's charities he's also worked towards uh, this you know disabled um, soldiers and things like that is very free, uh, free spirited and as a child he was extremely naughty extremely naughty it was very difficult to confine him okay and we have saturn sitting there i think this is a wrong uh, analysis here uh saturn which is the lord of the second house of family and the third house of the subconscious mind third house of communications third house of contacts sitting in the 11th house of contacts again and they uh, it's exalted so 
the need to do public service is very huge in this prince speed christopher argin so he's a french sailor and uh, he has finished crossed the finishing line non stop racing in a single handed motion across the world he set a new record world record he is said to be one of the greatest single handed sailors of all times and uh, he is the only sailor to have won three solo sailing races around the world so speed another association we can make of it and then we'll see that venus which is the lord of this house of ninth house only also and the fourth house of motherland and for a lot of things is of masses and fourth house technically if you take it it's also the water house and it's situated in the luck and you know when venus gives it gives like nobody so so sons of vayu the more interesting you know more interesting than vayu himself are sons of vayu hanuman bhima because vayu is something that uh, is a deity is a devta that many may not have heard about just for because vayu is also said to be one of the dikpals vayu may not people may not have heard about but hanuman and bhima are two uh, you know two of our uh, devtas at least hanuman ji we call him a devta because he was born in the treta yug and he was one of the loyalist of whom we can say and he chir ayu he will not die till the kalpa ends is one of those immortals okay so and then we have bhim bhim is also one of the sons of vayu uh i should be taking across uh, quite a number of examples a lot of stories associated i'll just give it a very quick preview uh, one of them is in his childhood hanuman ji went ahead and he had a he considering uh, he was very fond of eating so people in this nakshatra are very fond of eating of this you know having a planet in this nakshatra very very fond of good food <clears throat> let it be by you so you see when there's a lot of air blowing you will find uh, you know mm, uh, fruits dropping off the trees and this this nakshatra is associated with a lot of eating also fond of eating bhim son of vayu was again very fond of eating so as a child he was very naughty hanuman ji was extremely naughty a child so people who have uh, you know a planet in their nakshatra this house especially if it falls in your fifth house so for all those people your child will be very not 